Hey guys, welcome back for another Sunbreak Dual Blade builds. Some players might not care much about having all the elements, and prefer to have one universal set throughout his or her Dual Blades experience. If you are one of them, then this video is for you. Before I begin, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Come on, do it. Lay it on right here, do it. Do it. So we gain three new armor skills that cater to status builds. However, we are going to talk about two of them for this video. First, we have the skill Bloodlust, which infects you with the Frenzy Virus, much like the one that we get from Gore and Shigaru Magala. We slowly lose some HP, but we get a 20 attack boost, 10 status or element, evasion window 3, and a minus 30 stamina consumption at level 3. When we overcome the virus, we replace the buffs for 25% affinity. This in turn triggers our second skill called Coalescence, which gives 18 attack boost and a 15% status buildup at level 3. This is quite a game changer for status sets because we haven't had any other status boost and multipliers besides our status specific attack skills. For our armor sets, please note these sets are build friendly, so you can further optimize these sets depending on your talismans. I have three builds that you can progress to throughout the master rank. For the weapons, I'd first like to share that for status or any dual blade for that matter, using dual blades with a mix of element and or status isn't ideal. It halves our proc rate because the first blade hits for one status or element and the second blade hits for another. The only time it is good is if the status or element is double that or close to the best weapons. From the dual blade tree, there aren't any of that that fit that standard. Additionally, my builds will be focusing with status in mind with additional attack, not high attack with additional status. Which, in my opinion, you go all in in status or you don't go for it at all. You might want to watch my Masters of Elements series instead if you prefer to do more damage. With that out of the way, we will be using the Magna Malo and Scorned Magna Malo Tree for Blast. Once unlocked, you should equip the Rampage skill Teostra Soul for additional blast damage. For the first build, this will likely be your build to transition to Master Rank, since it will be more time efficient than farming each elemental weapon. It is also an additional way to break monster parts outside of having Part Breaker. You can easily complete this set at MR3. Our weapon at this point will only have one level 2 and one level 1 slot. For this set, we will be using the Orangaten Helm and Coil, Nargakuga Mail X, Sianator Braces, and the Kadachi Greaves X. This is a talisman free build, but you may also use any talisman with at least two level 2 slots for maximum output. You will need these decorations 3 Tenderizer, 3 Critical, and 3 Grinder Jewels. With a 2 2 talisman, you may add two flawless jewels. Without the talisman, this set gives you Critical I6, Weakness Exploit 3, Critical Boost 3, Blast Attack 3, Latent Power 2, Handicraft 2, and Peak Performance 1. Once you reach mid-game, you will be using this new build I call Arc Blaster. You will be using the Arc Helm, Jelly Mail X, Malzano Braces, Kaiser Coil X, and Grand God's Pure Feet. This set is a talisman free set as well, though I highly recommend raising your attack boost as high as you can. You will need these decorations. 3 Tenderizer, 1 Critical, 1 Blast, 2 Attack, and 3 Grinder Jewels. Without the talisman, this set gives you Theostra Blessing 2, Bloodlust 1, Coalescence 2, Attack Boost 4, Critical Boost 3, Weakness Exploit 3, Blast Attack 3, and Speed Sharpening 3. 
This set is already a very good stopping point for this blast build. Coalescence, Blast Attack, and Theostra's Blessing give you so much blast that it's practically a fireworks festival. If you want to go the extra mile, here is a Dereliction build for the blast set. If you want to know more about Dereliction, you may check out my previous video. For this, we will be using the blue scroll for the attack boost rather than the element. At level 3, you will get a total of 35 attack with the 3 Kyrios. For this set, we will be using the Arc Helm, Jelly Vest X, Kaiser Coil X, Archfiend Armor Espine, and Seraph. You will need any 2-2 Talisman for this set. For this, I will be using my Evade Window 3 and Redirection 1 with 2 level 2 slots. You will need these decorations. 3 Tenderizer, 3 Critical, 1 Blast, 4 Attack, and 1 Furor Jewel. This set gives you Teostra Blessing 2, Dereliction 3, Bloodlust 1, Coalescence 2, Weakness Exploit 3, Critical Boost 3, Blast Attack 3, Resentment 3, Attack Boost 4, and Critical I-1. Blast is a fun and all-rounder weapon, but can it match the level of the elements? To be frank, no. It's quite a big power deck. However, it's very convenient to use especially for multiple monster hunts, and for certain monster fights like Valstrax, who gain resistances to all elements when enraged. What are your thoughts? Do you find these sets useful? Please let me know in the comments. If you like this video and want to see more, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Part 2 of Status Madness is coming real soon, so stay tuned for that. But for now, see you next time.